Ranked the number nine welterweight contender in the world by the IBF. Introducing the pride and joy of Sacramento. Here is dangerous Ray Lovato. And his opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my right, fighting out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing blue trunks with gray trim and hailing from Cupe Alto, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 29 wins, no losses, 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome one of the stars of the welterweight division and... ...opponent, Freddie Pendleton, will be KO'd in the fifth for his eighth title defense as Pendleton just crumbled. Final seconds of the opening round, quite uneventful. Eventually, be a huge. Uh, he, ought, he, yeah, he missed the cannonading right hand there, but that's gonna, that's gonna land him. In time, he adjusts and he bursts forth with big bombs. Lovato has to close that gap too, even if he's not standing right in front. He has to get close with it, side to side, moving, slipping. But he's got to get closer. Shorter arms, you know, he's shorter in the height. He's got to get inside. Well, Bobby, he's gonna pay a big toll going in there because once he starts to come in, that's when the jab starts to really pepper him by Felix Trinidad. That's what he does good. When guys start to come in, he picks them apart. Lovato with the quick flick of the jab there. There's another left jab by Lovato, trying to get in and out quickly. Misses to the body with the right hook. The elusiveness defensively of Felix Trinidad. with that chopping right. Lovato gives him a little smirk. Lovato confident, bordering on cocky. Trinidad's offense is almost obvious by its absence. He's not really doing too much offensively right now, and you have to wonder you know, when he's going to heat up. How long is it going to take? Quick left jab by Trinidad that got in. Rush on the face of Lovato. Lovato has thrown a number of Andre Agassi Foundation event, uh, charity event, uh, where we have uh, Billy Joel and a whole bunch of other... Uh, better keep those hands a little higher. And that's what Mitch Halpern is telling him. Here's how they're seeing it at home on the internet. The online scoring has it all tied up at 2-2 in this, the fifth round. Well, for what it's worth, I've got a 3-1, or 39 to 37. I, I have a 2-1-1, one and one, so, you know, it's, we're all in the same ballpark. The first round, nobody did anything. I just had it even. Past the halfway mark of round five. Wild swing and a miss on a left hook attempt by Lovato. Back comes that shotgun jab by Trinidad. Right, step back easy, step back easy. Watch those heads, come on. Lovato still bouncing around. Looks to be in very good condition. You have to be against Felix Trinidad. Is Trinidad working the face with a jab? He's got Lovato backpedaling. He comes forward with a right hand, but Lovato misses. Now look out of the room. Let's go. This time Trinidad, warned by Halpern. He's been getting away with that low blow to the side. It seems to bother Lovato every time he gets hit there. Good defense there by Lovato to elude those punches. By the Tauter, Felix Trinidad. Keep it up. Trinidad about 5'11", Lovato at 5'8", three-inch height advantage. Keep it up, both of you, come so on. He's punching down. Under 20 seconds in round five. That one off the shoulder of Trinidad by Lovato with the right. Lovato saying, I'm okay, you didn't hurt me. Watch those heads. This is usually just the opposite when they do that. Straight right hand by 
Trinidad. That was a nice counter punch. The bottom missed wildly in a straight right hand right down the pipe. And he does it so effortlessly. He doesn't get a lot of emotion or strain in his face. Just bang. Let's go. Every time, every time you're moving like that, you got him. Here we go. Here we go. Give me the water. There, those are looking good. Okay, hey, Ray. Huh? How you feeling? All right. How are you? Get the ice pack on the back of his head, okay? Ice pack. And give me some water. Yeah, huh? yeah I'm going to put some water uh, on Let's take head. a look at the right. good right hand by Trinidad. Now, see, Trinidad's set. Now the distance is good enough for him. He misses with that, but now look how he comes back with the right. Boom! Right on the money. Right on the money. Good counter. It's not even a counter. He, he missed with one and came on the other. Let's listen. Get that jab. You're bobbing and weaving. He's missing. Come up with that short hook, okay? You know, you got it there. There you go. Give me a face. Give me a face. All right. Go get him, baby. Come on. Go get him. Here we go into round number six for the IBF Waterweight Championship. Many people here didn't think Ray Lovato would be here now, and I think he's here, and he's doing a very good job of it. He has not backed down to uh, Felix Trinidad, nor has Felix Trinidad uh, really overwhelmed him with his superiority. It's a good fight. Well, Lovato's done a lot of things for it to neutralize Trinidad's power, but right now you can see there's a, just a tremendous skill difference and still a power difference. There's a heavy straight right hand by Lovato, but off the top of Trinidad's head didn't do much damage, though he's been relatively uh, inactive. Coming into this fight, only two fights the last two years for Lovato. He has given Trinidad more trouble than a lot of people expected. Yeah, translate that means he's still here. <laughs> Rather than he's, he's giving uh, uh, Trinidad a beating or, or uh, uh, challenging him in that way. I mean, just the fact that he's here is a, a big plus. He has been a pest, I think it's safe yeah. to say. <laughs> but he said he was going to surprise. He said he wasn't going to be scared of this guy, and he hasn't been. He, give him credit. Oh, nice right hand. Yeah, that's Trinidad. That not only got Lovato's attention, that staggered him for a minute, but I'll tell you, to his credit, took it well. Lovato showing a very good chin. Again, the warning from Mitch Halpern to Trinidad, keep those punches up. That's the same place he's been landing and the same place Lovato winced every time he shot it there. Little left hook there that, uh, that made Lovato wince. Another left hook by Trinidad, followed up by a right, but the right missed. And then a straight left by Trinidad. Trinidad now boring in. Finding the range, finding the range now. If Lovato's gonna fight this type of fight, he's gotta close the gap because the Trinidad right now is in perfect yes. range and Lovato has the shorter hands. He can't win this fight. But this, yes, oh. this is where Lovato's in trouble. You can't go toe to toe. You cannot exchange with Trinidad. Straight right. Oh, look out, he's ready to go. And Mitch Halpern stops the fight. Trinidad wins. Well, I tell you, it was probably only a matter of time. It looked a little bit premature though, but I couldn't see Ray's eyes. I, that's the only that's the only comment I can make. I haven't seen his eyes, but for a title fight where he was doing pretty good, that was a little tiny, teeny bit uh, unfair to Lovato. I he mean, was fighting back for it. He was throwing punches. He was in the game. I didn't see his eyes, like Bobby said, and, and the referee is right next to him, but he was right above us, and he didn't look like he was in that kind of trouble. A few of the boo birds coming out here from this crowd of the MGM Grand, and Ray Lovato, well, you can see that he is upset at the stoppage by Mitch Halpern, feeling that was premature. Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 57 seconds of round number 6. Our referee in charge, Mitch Halpern, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated and still the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Felix Tito Trinidad.